Hello students, welcome to Sorosil's classes. In this video, I'll be solving a question from ISS 2015, paper 1. Now here we have two variables, x and y. They follow binomial distribution, where x follows binomial distribution with parameter n1 and p1, and y follows binomial distribution with parameter n2 and p2. And here we have to provide appropriate exact test at level alpha to for h naught so here our h naught is p1 is equals to p2 against h1 which is p1 is greater than p2 now we can have estimate of p1 and p2 as estimate of p1 and p2 as p1 cap and p2 cap respectively so let p1 cap and p2 cap be estimate of p1 and p2 where p1 cap this is equals to x by n1 and p2 cap it is equals to y by n2 where x is the number of successes corresponding to this our x random variable and y is the number of successes corresponding to the random variable y so here we get p1 cap and p2 cap now under h naught our p1 is equals to p2 say it is equals to some it is equals to p so under h naught we have our p1 is equals to p2 which is equals to say p then p1 cap minus p2 cap this should not be not be too far from zero too far from zero also when n1 and n2 when these two are sufficiently large then p1 cap minus p2 cap this would follow a normal distribution so p1 cap minus p2 cap this will follow a normal distribution with mean p1 minus p2 and variance would be equals to it would be p1 q1 by n1 plus p2 q2 by n2 where our qi is equals to 1 minus pi where i is 1 and 2 so our qi is equals to 1 minus pi then p1 cap minus p2 cap it follows normal distribution with mean p1 minus p2 and variance p1 q1 by n1 plus p2 q2 by n2 now under h naught p our p1 is equals to p2 is equals to say some variable p then the estimate of p that is p cap estimate of p that is p cap it would be equals to x plus y divided by n1 plus n2 that is total number of success divided by total number of observation it would be our p cap and again p cap can be written as so it would be n1 p1 cap plus n2 p2 cap divided by n1 plus n2 so here this p is weighted average of p1 and p2 it is weighted average of p1 and so it is weighted average of p1 cap and p2 cap so we have our p1 cap now the estimate of sigma p1 cap minus p2 cap so this would be given by so this is equals to root over p cap into 1 minus p cap into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 so our test statistic z would be equals to 
P1 cap minus P2 cap divided by square root of P cap into 1 minus P cap into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. So this would follow normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. So this is under H0. So under H0 we would have Z is equals to P1 cap minus P2 cap divided by square root of P cap into 1 minus P cap into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 where P cap is equals to N1 P1 cap plus N2 P2 cap divided by N1 plus N2. Now, so what we will do is that we will compute Z0 which is equals to P1 cap minus P2 cap divided by root over uh, P cap into 1 minus P cap into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. So it is our Z0. Now we will compare this Z0. We will compare this Z0 with tabulated Z alpha where this alpha is the level of significance so we will compare this Z0 with our tabulated Z alpha now if this Z0 is greater than Z alpha then we reject H0 what we do we reject H0 otherwise H0 is not rejected that is when Z0 is not greater than Z alpha then our H0 will not is not rejected so otherwise our Z0 is not rejected so this is the test for uh, this uh, for testing our null hypothesis H0 which is P1 is equals to P2 against our H1 which is P1 is greater than P2. So here what we will do is we will first write our H0 and H1 then under H0 we will have P1 is equals to P2 is equals to P. So when n1 and n2 is sufficiently large we say that p1 cap minus p2 cap this follows normal distribution with p1 minus p2 as mean and p1 q1 by n1 plus p2 q2 by n2 as variance where qi is equals to 1 minus pi where i runs from 1 2 so what we have to do is we have to write h0 which is equals to P1 is equals to P2 and H1 which is P1 is greater than P2. Then under H0 we will calculate. Then under H0 we would calculate our Z0 which is equals to P1 cap minus P2 cap divided by root over P cap into 1 minus P cap into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 where this P cap is equals to N1 P1 cap plus N2 P2 cap divided by N1 and N2 and P1 cap is equals to X by N1 and P2 cap is equals to X by N2 where X and Y are number of successes corresponding to x and y respectively so here we would compute our z0 then we would compare this z0 with z alpha where alpha is the level of significance so if our z0 is greater than z alpha then we reject our h0 otherwise h0 is not rejected